Now for this project we're going to make a beautiful enameled Russian effect enameled egg. Now this is so simple and easy to do but you can obviously do it in lots of different ways and embellish it and do what you like. I'm just going to give you two quick simple ways of using these downloads. First of all just have a quick look. You get them in three different sizes but I've got this main egg here as you can see look at all the gilt work well I'm kind of gilt and, and the uh, enameling on there I keep want to say embellishing but I mean enameling on there now if you want you can print this out and cut out loads of decoupage sections we've also got this section here as well where you've got the full egg and you've got the egg here that's been halved so out of this one you could use that as decoupage or you could cut this band you could cut that band. You can use these in lots and lots of different ways. And don't forget, we've given you extra background papers and uh, lots of different things that you can create the eggs in any way that you want. But we're going to make an egg uh, like this. Let me just show you this. Let me just give you two ways. You see this egg here? There's that egg. Now, that one's just been printed onto some card and then it was cut out. But before I cut it out, I also printed on the back some of the gold effect. And just using a scrap of the gold effect there, I just cut it into a, a long elongated triangle, snipped the top off, creased it, stuck that down onto there. You could keep it all gold. I'm just using a scrap piece. And then that will work as a little, as a little kind of stand there for standing your egg off. And one tip is just slice the end off there a little bit, making it nice and flat so that the egg stands perfectly. So you've done that bit. I'm just going to flatten that out now a little bit just to show you another of how you can build on that. So say you want to do another egg over the top. So there's the, there's the large section of the egg. And what I've done here now is I've cut this out. But where these blue lines are, I've just continued the run of the gold paper so they will act as like little hinges and I've just left the edge of the paper on so that you can see where it's been trimmed and now if I just trim those off like so so it'll just these are going to stick down on the inside I've just created three little hinges there which will be enough for holding the card in position so the front of the card so there's my card then all I've got to do is lay that over the top like that like so keeping hold of it so it doesn't move then just hold that in position and then taking your glue pen just run your glue pen down these little strips like that and because they're smallish strips they will bend over the back of the egg perfectly so you just hold that over and hold it down hold that over and hold it down bring that one over and hold it down now if you want you can put a false back on the air on the back there but I don't think there's any need for that so that when you turn this back over again you've got the front of the egg fastened in position and then that will just open nicely like that so then you can write something on the inside you could put a sentiment on the inside of the egg so you've got the egg on the front there and the egg then will also stand up and you can decorate it and do what you want with it so I might just want to put another little piece on there that just hold it down in position. But there's one of the eggs. That's one egg. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is almost identical. But this time I've cut off the bottom part of the egg, as you can see there. There's the bottom half. And then using those two smaller bits, I've got the one that fits over there and the one that fits over there. And I've done exactly the same where this band is. I've just left some of the backing paper on and just rounded it off and then that will fit over there and that will just go over the top now this one's going to open that way and that way but you can play around with it and do what you want so first of all I'm just going to put this one in position like so make sure that fits hold it tightly turn it over and then using your glue pen again just put a little blob of glue on there and then just fold that over. Now you can put a false back on these eggs once you've done them. So first of all, you've got your first part of the egg. If you want, you can just have that. And you've got the egg that opens up like that. But I'm going to put the bottom part on as well. Again, just hold it in position exactly where you want it. Get it right. And that will do there. Turn it over without moving it. Another little bit of glue on the back. Put plenty on as well because it is holding the whole of the egg front on there and you can just tidy any little bits that are just a little bit extra there 
and then you've got the bottom part of the egg so there's your egg now you've got a double card there you've got it opening that way and you've also got it opening that way as well so there's lots of things you can do with these eggs now if you want as well I've got a little off cut here of card a little off cut of card there and I'm not bothering I'm just I've just bent it over at the top but you can use a proper piece you know that's not looking a bit messy and all I'm doing is popping that little bit of glue on the back of that and if I position that down at the bottom there and then stick that onto the back like so that will act let's hope that's stick down that will act as like kind of a little a little leg for it to stand up with and there's the egg there as you can see nicely stood up so there's two different ways of using those eggs obviously you've got to crease this a little bit more so it's not flopping over all the time so look you get to make one version of the eggs and two version of the egg very simple and easy to do and you can decorate those up afterwards and put any sentiments in that you want